everybody. Welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today we got a pretty cool show for y'all. This is one we've been to before. It's the East Ascension Sportsman League's Kids Fishing Rodeo. So this day's all about the kids, and they're winning prizes. They're going to get to fish with mom, dad, uncle, grandpa. They could win bikes, and it might be their first time they ever fish. So uh, it's all about the fun with the kids. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, and mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. All right, y'all, they just blew the horn, the kids just started fishing. Now, this is some of the folks that helped put this together. Let's get their names and where they're from. Tori Hayden, Prairieville. Mac Daigle, Gonzalez. Dane Bourgeois, Front Santa Mon. Yeah, my name is Mike Lambert. I'm from downtown Santa Mon. And I'm the president of the East Ascension Sportsman League, uh, along with, you know, a whole bunch of other people. We put this event on uh, every year. And I actually forgot, you know, it's like the 60th year or something. So, yeah, nobody it, ever knows. It's the upper 50s for sure. Yeah, it, I, I think it's the 60th uh, time, you know, and... Also, we can't do without our sponsors, Fluga Crickets. Uh, they supply these crickets every year for as long as anybody can remember. Uh, we have donuts for the kids. Donut Palace. Donut Palace is bringing the donuts. Donut Palace. Yeah, they're across uh, from uh, Lamadolas. Okay. You have some other sponsors, too. Oh, we have a bunch. You have a sign full of people and over there. And we'd never be able to say every one yeah, of them. And, and, uh. You know, the sign is from 2019. Uh, we didn't actually get another sign put together this year because it, it was hard to tell whether we was going to have it or not. And, uh, you know, we, we really didn't know we'd have this big a turnout, you know. But the Sportsman League is trying to get things going again. Uh, our thing now is we accept the members with no membership fees. We want people's email addresses because nowadays we communicate with emails. We need to get as many uh, email addresses as we can to get, uh, you know, potential members, potential active members. We all getting old, and uh, you know, <laughs> we want this, we want this to keep going and and be better than it ever was. You know, we want to keep getting better and better and doing events like this. Uh, we don't really need uh, the membership money right now. You know, later on we'll we'll start getting memberships again in a couple of years, but we want to recover from the virus and all that and get things rolling again and start doing all the things that most people been doing anyway. Throughout the whole virus, you could go fishing. You, you, you know, you're not close right. to anybody. Right. Um, I, I, I know a bunch of people that just drug boats out of the weeds that, you know, and made them float and went fishing. You couldn't even buy a boat back then. You couldn't even no, find a boat. No, but... Well, yeah. uh, the, the Sportsman League is something that's been around, and them getting more people is something that'll be on forever. So people out there want to get into this. Now, we're going to jump back into the fishing rodeo as all the kids are here. What does the fishing rodeo mean to you, Tori? It means the future. If you look out there, uh, that's the future of sportsmen, these young people having a good time enjoying life, enjoying the outdoors. Uh, I've seen a lot of nice little brim coming in already. Ready. And we're all about providing the opportunity for people to participate in the outdoors in the future. What uh, what does it mean to you, you know, the, the kids fishing? Right well, you know, I have a couple of grandkids that are out here, and uh, one of them, I think, this might be his last year. He's a... No, age out after 14. Ah, uh, so and, he got to uh, win the bike or something big yeah, this year. Yeah, it just gives them a chance to <laughs> hey, kind of get them out here. Their parents are their parents are with them, 
but it kind of gets them away from home. They all been at home so much with this right. COVID, and uh, it kind of gets them out where they can kind of exercise and do things yep. they're not able to do during the COVID. And they went mom and dad most of the times out here. And you, what does it mean to you? Uh, I tell you, I've said this uh, many years. You know, there's a lot of kids out here. This might be one of the few times they come fishing a year. You know, it gives, it gives some kids that don't have a, a lot of opportunity to fish a reason, an opportunity to come out here. And look, if, if y'all walk around this pond, and I know y'all will, you're going to see some happy little kids, you know. So it, it gives them an opportunity to get exposed to little pond fishing and that's perfect you know and this may be some of them's first time fishing ever so all right y'all <clears throat> we can sit around and talk about it but let's go see what the kids are doing now all right y'all we're standing right here look like you got a catfish in there huh what, what we got what you fishing with oh night crawlers <laughs> night crawlers your first one you done got one already <laughs> look out you already got a couple already you've been to this rodeo before too haven't you What's your name? Bradley Lambert. Ah, you came to Miss Betty. Yes. There we go. She's back in it. Going again. All right, y'all got some more fishermen. I'm messing them up right now. But let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, I'm Elise Bourgeois, and I go to Santa Monica High School. I'm Caroline Matassa, and I go to Dutchtown High School. Now, you fished here before? Yes, sir. Have you caught a lot of fish here before? Um, Some. You? And, and you? <laughs> you won something before? Yeah. You did? <laughs> what What does the um the kids fishing rodeo mean to you? Um, I come here every year with my dad, so it's kind of like a tradition now. So it's pretty fun. Awesome, awesome. And you? It's like a fun way to like get outdoors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna get hot in a minute, so. And you know they got donuts over there too. Oh yeah. A lot of donuts. <laughs> hey, y'all get back to work. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm going to tell y'all what, this is something really neat. Due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're going to learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights, 10 weeks in a row starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed but only 12 spots for each class so if you want to get in you better sign up now you can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking and we'll see you in the class you're watching Cajun Living and Cooking
All right, y'all, I got the chairperson who's been doing this for a while, Miss Betty Lambert from Santa Mon. How's it going? It's going great. We have some kids here out there, and they're all catching fish today, so it's really good. Yeah, I haven't seen a big one, but I've seen plenty. Plenty right. fish coming out. That one guy over there was tearing them up. He said he might have had 20 already when we were over there. Uh, I didn't see that. I know they had a lot of them have a lot, though. <laughs> now, to put this on, you got some good people and some good sponsors. Um, you want to talk about them? Uh, the sponsors that we have this year, Ascension Credit Union has helped in various years. Uh, they gave us two bikes for the prizes. Uh, they have some goodies over there to give out when the kids finish fishing. Um, Fluker Farms always donates crickets, which yeah. we thank so much that they we couldn't do without that. Um, we have this group of men that come every year and cook, and there's a lot of names that Jeff Burke told me, and some of it's his family. So there's some Burks and there's some Jenkins. So I'm not sure of all the first names anymore. I forgot. Well, he brings all those people to carry the pots for yes, him. Yes, that's it. He's just yeah, the stirrer. Yeah, that's it. He just stirs. I watched him do that, actually. They were all picking it up, and he's like, yeah, there, there, there. So, yeah, you're right. That's exactly it. <laughs> and then you have other people hauling stuff and bringing prizes, and you give plenty prizes. We do. We give Every child gets a prize. They have a goodie bag to get at the beginning. Um, a lot of that is donated. Uh Cabela's helped us out this year with a lot of the things in the goodie bags. They gave us some uh, fishing rods and reels. So we have a lot of things for them. Uh, every kid gets a bike. Uh, not every kid, I'm sorry. Every age group gets a bike for a boy yeah. and a girl. So And then they get trophies for fish, you know, biggest fish, most fish in their age groups. And there's a whole lot of things that they, they're going to love it. What does the, now I see you have a bunch of family here, a, a bunch of Lamberts. There's a pile here. <laughs> now, um. What does the kids fishing rodeo mean to you, you know? Well, it brings the community together and the kids some of them never have never fished before. Ours on the other hand, they mostly they just fish here. Some of their their parents do take them fishing otherwise, but um one mother doesn't bring hers fishing, so the only time they do is here and they love it. Um but the kids get to experience catching the fish and the first time they land one they're so excited, but Actually, I watch some of the older kids, and they get to their first fish that day, and they're like, yes, I got one. So they're, they're excited every time. I still get excited every time I catch a fish. I got to say. I got to say. Oh, I, got, I got another one. That's how I am. I caught two. Oh, yeah. boy. You know. <laughs> okay. I know you're busy today. I'm going to let you go, and I'll keep up the good work, Miss Betty. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. I got some folks out here that's really important to this cause. Let's get their names and where they're from. Kathy Mathern, Prairieville. Deb Kennedy Gonzalez. Damian LeBrain, Baton Rouge. Now, who y'all with? We were with Ascension Credit Union. Now, uh, I heard y'all put uh, sponsored some of the bikes and stuff out here. Tell me what y'all doing out here today. Okay, so we have, um, for the giveaway, we do have two of the older kids' bikes. Uh, we also donated a tackle box um, to throw in with the giveaways towards the end. But we also brought some theme snacks as well, some goldfish, some gummy worms. Uh, and we have our Starsky program. This is our accounts for our younger kids, 12 yeah. and under. Yeah. And they're able to start the account, I mean, pretty much free. And they receive $10 at the account opening. Uh, but we also have just a small treat for them inside the envelopes on every one of them. Ah, something nice. Something nice. Now, is this your first time out to the kids' rodeo? Yes. Yeah, so this is my first time uh, at the fishing rodeo this year. Um, I actually didn't even know they had a pond this big out here. I mean, I, I always fish all the time. So... It's great to know that they have something back here, so I'll definitely be returning. Now, uh, you said you're a fisherman. What, what's the biggest fish you ever caught, bro? What, what's the uh, what's you, a bass, I'm catfish? To say no, no, that you, <laughs> no, that's all right. Though. That's all right. Well, catfish, bass. What you been? What you caught? Um, I think I've caught um, maybe a four pound bass before. Wow, that's probably my largest one. Wow, I don't think I, I'm not a bass guy, but that's a big fish when you get the four pound. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, hey, thank y'all for coming out and what y'all do, and uh, keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? I seen y'all catching one there. Yeah, yeah, got how many you got so far? Well, this is the first one. We just got no water. First one. What's your name? What's your name? What's his name? Samuel. Samuel? Y'all, uh, just first one he got just now? Yeah, it's the first one. And you keep every one, too, because they all count. Yeah, of course. All right. Was that from a cricket or a worm? Uh, I don't know. What was on there? It looked like yeah, tell him. Looked like worm. Yeah, it was a worm. All right. Hey, good job. Keep up the good work. Yeah. All 
All right, y'all, I got another fisherman here. Let's get her name and where she's from. Elizabeth Cagle. And where are you from? Indiana. Indiana? And you live here now? Yeah. All right, where do you go to school? Uh, Woodlawn Middle School. All right, where, uh, you fished before? Yeah. Have you? Have you? What's your biggest fish you ever caught? <laughs> Show, me. Show me. Show me. how. It would be like that big. Really? It was a catfish? A I think so. Or a bass or something? I don't know. Gotcha. I don't gotcha. Remember. What you uh, using today, worms or crickets? Crickets. All right. I'm not going to mess you up. You keep on fishing. Good job. Look at here. I got another lady catching the fish as we speak right now. That's a nice one. Hey, what's your name? Riley. Now, is that the first one you caught? Yeah. Is it? Is that's a pretty nice. I've seen a bunch already. I think that's the biggest one I've seen so far. You you fished here before? Yes. And um, what what does not? I don't want to slow you down now. But what does the fishing rodeo mean to you every year? I really don't know. <laughs> you don't know, but you've been here before and you like to come, no? Uh, yeah. Is it the donuts or the hot dogs or the jambalaya? Jambalaya. There we go, right there. Hey, see you later. Bye. All right, y'all, they're fishing on this side. Now, the wind's not blowing right here. And if you can see, they got, they got some schools of shad here, and they got a big old school of shad over there. So, and uh, something was coming up and busting them. So th there's something in there tearing these shad up. So if you if you had a piece of shad right now, you'd probably catch catfish or bass or something in here. But as you see, again, they, they were busting them up right here. So uh, there's plenty of fish in here, y'all. And that's the bait right there. Gramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Crawfish season is coming soon. It's time to move into the 21st century with the new high-performance cookers and super boilers. With our new state-of-the-art technology, the 120-quart pots come to a boil in under 7 minutes and the return boil in under 2 minutes. This fast return boil is key to perfectly cooked crawfish all while using far less propane. Now, no more mushy crawfish using the old, outdated slow boilers. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever, but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree and I'm Holly Pilgrim and I'm gonna tell y'all what this is something really neat due to COVID with um, not much going on in the world of festivals fairs and cooking contests we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware and this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over this class you're gonna learn Cajun cooking the way we do it learn history of our food and facts about our food it's Thursday nights 10 weeks in a row starting July 22nd to September 23rd from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and the class is only $40 with six to eight menu items for each class and so much more that's not listed but only 12 spots for each class so if you want to get in you better sign up now you can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking and we'll see you in the class. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking.
Look at there. Look at there. What's up, bro? We're doing the same old thing, you know. Now, this is for the people who don't know. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm uh, Jeff Burke from Gonzales, Louisiana. Professional jambalaya cooker. Look at that. How many pounds? Uh, this is going to be 40 pounds of rice and uh, roughly about 100 pounds of meat. 40 pounds of onion. Wow. Uh, that looks good. That looks really good. All popped up. And uh, we're going to have a lot to go probably. So, uh, <laughs> y'all people out there, y'all going to probably see in this little late. I don't think we're going to have any left to give, but y'all take all y'all want. Well, by the time we uh, air it, though, it'll be gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's doing good. But That is good-looking jump, bro. You know, we got the bad part about this, all I did today was cook the weenies. You know, and no I don't know way. why they got me stirring. It's probably like I'm taking credit for this. Evidently, it must not taste good. <laughs> I ain't yeah. tasted it yet. So, but, so uh, did you do the chili? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's homemade chili. It is. It's homemade chili, you know. And look, it's real easy to do. People need to do it more often. Uh, the hardest part is opening up the can. I mean, um, yeah. uh, opening up, uh, getting, the, getting the stuff together. That's, that's what we like, y'all. Yeah, uh, we're ready to go. I'm glad to see we got some kids out here finally. Missed last year doing it. And uh, hopefully next year we'll get the 150 kids or 100 kids that we normally have out here. And, build uh, it back up. Yeah, build it back up. Great. Now, I appreciate what y'all do out here, you know, covering it letting people know about it because everybody at the last weekend in the uh, in the month of uh or the first weekend in april august right. or the last weekend in july right you know? before school starts right before school starts every year y'all come on out here it's a great time hey keep up the good work bro i can't wait to try yeah. that well i get we got you a plate we're already going bro. all right Don't worry about it Y'all, we go to these events all the time, and my buddy Mike Strong with Ascension Magazine's always out here taking pictures, too. And we end up in each other's pictures. It's the craziest thing. Oh, I know. And look, I got out a little late this morning. I'm glad at least I'm here for the award ceremony. <laughs> yeah. But at least I didn't have to walk around these lakes taking all those individual pictures. But I'm glad to be here and supporting the Ascension <laughs> Sportsman League. It's a nice thing. I look forward to this every year. Oh, yeah. And, and you'll have bunches of pictures with all the kids. Oh, I certainly will. And, you know, I saw you at the rodeo, the garfish rodeo. Yeah. I'm still washing that garfish goo off of me from it slopping around. I'm with so. you. I'm with you. Hey, you do a good job. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Rodney. All right, Mike. We, uh, we were talking about walking through there, and uh, this is some of the first time kids are fishing. And not everybody knows about fishing, so I've seen some people with some bigger hooks out there. Yeah. Uh, this particular fishing event is it's not the biggest fish. There is a prize for the biggest fish in their age group, but it's quantity. So a lot of a lot of these kids are catching fish that like two, three inches long, you know. And since we didn't fish last year, it seems like they got bigger fish because we we didn't hurt them bad last year. But this this stuff he got here hooks. Uh, a cork sinkers that's basic fishing anybody can do it you can use anything for bait from you know any kind of worm cricket grasshopper uh little niblet yeah these little uh artificial fish candies or whatever they are you know <laughs> but uh as a kid i remember i caught fish before on blackberries you know so if it's it's not really up to you. You can't decide what the fish want, but the fish will decide, you know, and if they're hungry enough and it moves, they the only way they can, you know, check it out is to put it in their mouth, I guess. And that's the coolest <laughs> part because if you have a big old giant hook out there and the fish is littler than the hook, well, you're not going to catch them. So you want small tackle like we were talking about, yeah. little bitty weight, little bitty tiny hook, and little cork and and you know technology well i wish i'd have had them when i was a kid we didn't have that there no we we would tie a stick somehow, yeah yeah you know, just yeah. anything that would float we lived on uh on the amid river all my life and uh kids used to come to the river back then and fish because there wasn't no internet no yeah. internet or nothing yeah. that's what people did and that was the first time i ever seen a cork i must have been like nine or something but i kept seeing that going up and down and we were using sticks too you know and i'm like look at that they they got something really nice out there. Yeah. But uh, anyway, that's a little bit of what you need when you come fishing out here. And uh, let's see who wins this thing. Yeah. And I mean, this this you can use fishing anywhere. You know, this this is like your basic fishing. 
you know, you just simple, straightforward. You know, you don't need to go buy all the expensive lures and rods and reels. Just get a cane pole and this stuff, and you're set to go. And you can have yourself some fun and get you a little something to eat. <laughs> Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites haul cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on site butcher has all your specialties smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche Sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Rodney Dupree. And I'm Holly Pilgrim. And I'm going to tell y'all what, this is something really neat. Due to COVID, with um, not much going on in the world of festivals, fairs, and cooking contests, we started a cooking class at Galvis Hardware. And this is not your normal class where you get a certificate or go to work at a five-star restaurant when it's over. This class, you're going to learn Cajun cooking the way we do it. Learn history of our food and facts about our food. It's Thursday nights. 10 weeks in a row, starting July 22nd to September 23rd, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., and the class is only $40, with six to eight menu items for each class, and so much more that's not listed, but only 12 spots for each class, so if you want to get in, you better sign up now. You can check us out on Facebook at Cajun Living and Cooking or at Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking, and we'll see you in the class. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, what a good day. And like I said in the beginning, it's all about the kids. It's kids fishing, kids winning prizes, kids fishing with mom and dad. Uh, this will go on forever. You need to sign up for East Ascension Sportsman League. It's a really good group. And I'm going to tell you, what more would you want to do than come do some stuff like this? I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.